So a couple years ago, right, once I came home from the military, I got into this dumb, stupid accident, right? Drinking and driving, trying to hang out with my friends, you know, you know the usual. And I realized that they had me doing some dumb stuff that I would never usually do. And I had to think to myself, why is that? It's because they wanted to get ahead of me. They wanted to destroy me because they knew that I was the one and I was back home and I was gonna, you know, really do some tremendous things, but they knew that having me think and act outside of character to some people that don't know me now by over getting you drunk and, you know, showing you, you know, anyway. I've been manipulated like a good majority of my time because I was a very sheltered kid. Even into my 31, going to the military, you're sheltered. So I went from sheltered, being at a Catholic school, you know, with manipulative parents. So you're, they're teaching you to church. So you got some kind of balance to yourself, you know, I'm not saying anything, everything is bad about, you know, being with the church, but they have their, their, their ways, their values. And I respect that. Um, but as I get older, I realize that all these things that I was learning and experiencing, like you're going through, going to the rich, um, hippie, uh, summer camp every year up until I was what, 13, 14, um, that had me in good standings with some high people. And I was bringing that back to West Haven, you know, to my town. And I didn't notice my privilege. So I was very arrogant because I didn't notice my privilege. All I'm saying is watch the company you keep, but also keep your body in tune so that you can understand energies as I started eating organic and eating better, you know, not eating the crap that they feed you in the Navy, I started really feeling better about myself. Um, but then I did, I started tweaking my back. I wasn't stretching. I wasn't doing proper, I was, probably wasn't sleeping on the proper bed. There's a lot of things that was going on in my life that um, I knew I was doing wrong. And, uh, you know, everything, everything, even though things were going well, everything was going wrong at the same time, if, if, if that makes any sense. So then, you know, the 20, was it, 2020 came, I had made it good, you know, for myself, just got in Porsche, you know, uh, and I was doing well, you know, it was an older Porsche, but I, you know, I was doing well. So I wanted to go and see my friends and then another buddy of mine called when I knew he was doing some dumb stuff, man. These dudes had me doing some wild stuff, and I like I never do these things. And I totally disrespected a, a few people. Um, so I was just like, bro, I gotta get away from these people. These aren't my friends. And they still reach out and things like that. But it's just like, I wish you success. I hope the best for you. I hope you know everybody's doing well and in great health. But I know that. I'm not supposed to be around people like you, you know? There's envy behind every person that I've ever met. And I've controlled it in a horrible way, manner, my energy, my, you know, I've, I've had love for certain people and then they let me down. Um, I've done some, you know, and, and, and I was petty. I hung out with my mother. She's very, you know, demonic with things and, you know, calculated. And me, I'm just going to straight up, you know, say something to you. And I'm, it's, it's very aggressive. You know, it's different when it's from a woman compared to a six foot big old monk that like myself. But I figured they knew who I was and they knew that they did, did wrong. So they would understand like, okay, we fought, we did fuck him over. So he, he, he has the right to be mad. No. They went around the whole town and was talking crazy. So I just had to, I had to, listen, before I put any serious damage in to myself, them, or whoever, whatever, I had to leave. I had to get out of there, bro. I tried to go up to Enfield, Connecticut. 
I might have just been in Massachusetts. Like, Western Mass is not the place for a black man. Like, it, it's just, anyway, I love people. And if I feel a small smidget of disrespect, I used to want to lash out and hurt you. Like, and I couldn't because my parents wouldn't allow me to like put my hands on you. So like, I had to find other ways to do it. And it used to be basketball. So my parents manipulated me out of that. So I no longer had any defense, you know? So I get the whole manipulation of the whole world. Like, so I started listening to a different type of music, right? Cause I was just like, there's more to something. There's more to life and, uh, than, you know, just listening to rap and R&B and being a simple, being a fucking, you know, a, a abusive, you know, asshole with rap. Either way, you're being a, abusive or something, you know, in some way. And manipulated. So I said, you know what? I went to, I went to the Navy. Um, you know, I went back to the Navy with my music. Texas. So I listened to country music. And I started just feeling better. I loved the music. It was just something to bop to. You know, you're listening and, and you start feeling sad, though. <laughs> so I started changing the, the genre of that. And um, then I started finding my way into the old stuff. You know, like way back in the day, like when music first, you know, I started, it first started coming out. And um, listening to by Billy Hi um, Billy Billy Eilish <laughs> Billy um, <coughs> Billy Holiday. I'm sorry. I started listening to all types of genres, man. And I started noticing that it was waste. That was not wasted, but it was spending a lot of time. And I was my playlist was getting crazy. So I was feeling better. I'm stretching better. I'm going out shooting, I'm running up the hills, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad about the little dumb stuff that used to piss me off before, you know, um, it's just, I, I started, you know, really going at the issues that I had with my foot, right, so then I go back to R&B, I start, I mean, I go back to rap, and I find myself in the mirror, even if I'm listening to my favorite rappers, I could listen to J. Cole and I'm still kind of like making a sponge face, you know what I'm saying? And I did so much work to get away. Why am I going back? Why am I going back? You know, like I, I, I enjoy it. Like that's why I love Future so much. Cause like, it's, it's the beat beat. The energy he gives you, like I'm running extra hills. I'm do shoot more. I'm really hitting jumpers. I'm focused like, it's really about the music you listen to. Like, think about it. They've had people who sell their soul, literally, and we're starting to see these people have really sold their soul to, to for music. It's all art. Everything is art. Everything is a, a art in motion. And what you listen to, what you see, what you taste, what you, what you put out, what you, you know, how you express yourself, it's all art. And somebody is enjoying that whether it's you, whether it's somebody, you know, on the screen watching you or some, whether it's people in real life, you know, somebody seeing that and then get their entertainment off of it. So you need to be aware of what you're putting out and also what you're consuming. So the people that you're around, you should move away if you, you feel any kind of negative energy about them the car you drive if it, it, it you know it, it's not giving you the proper vibe you know it's not treating you well you always gotta do maintenance on it you would get rid of it or you would fix it right same with the body same with the people you're around same with the area the environment you're in if something's wrong don't sit there and just you know try to fix the, the situation don't ever sit there bro that's why a lot of people end up in jail dead you know, in, in, a, in horrible relationships, like because they they settle. I'm not into settling. Life really does not start for people until forty. You know, so. And what does it say that we're well, gonna make it there? there? There's a lot going on in this world, so. I'm just trying to stay as positive as I possibly can, and. 
I realized that music was causing me a lot of the terror. Just being honest. You should probably look into the things you listen to and how you react to the music. Try another genre for a little while, like for real, for like a week. Or maybe just one song. You know, I like to put it on shuffle and just put it on something different, you know, even uh, to work your way down. Like if you listen like that, what I did, I'll, I'll show you what I did. So I listen to like old R&B, let's say Michael Jackson, Jackson, then I'll go to the Jackson 5 and then Jackson 5 will put me to somebody else. So like I end up listening to Roberta Flack, you know what I mean? So then I'm listening to Roberta Flack. So then I'm like, oh shoot, I like Roberta Flack. So then I'll go see what else she got. And then she got a song with this person. So then you go listen to the music on this person. And next thing you know, you all the way in a whole different genre of music. And then your, your vibe is just different. Like you just, like I, I listen to orchestras, you know? I find myself walking a dog listening to orchestras and I'm doing squats and lunges and calf raises while I'm walking and it's really like re relining my body, retuning my body, my energy is better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see people, um, talk to people, speak to people, you know what I mean, when I'm listening to that. Um, whereas when I listen to rap, I just, I'm like, so I'm focused and I'm just like, ugh, like, don't talk to me. I don't want to like bother me. You know, like it's just a, it's an energy drainer. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just being honest about my opinion. And then I did all the research on it. Like back in the day, they pulled Noriega out of a, a building that he's been cooped in during a, with music. You ever seen the salt that they put on paper and the waves? start moving in different patterns. They do that, that does that to your brain. That does that to your brain, bro. Everything you eat changes your brain. You're a host to so many things. So many parasites are in your body. And what makes you believe that there's no parasites? Floating parasites. Like the, the music isn't putting, like, cause think about it. I'm gonna get a little crazy with you, but in the Navy, we were introduced to this cold medicine and it used to make us high as a fucking kite, right? So, but you had to take a, a good amount. Depending on your body size, you know, um, but I also feel like this is the reason why I was depressed for so long. So it would bring you to a planet, a different, like, I don't know, but you would, start to feel music see music taste music and everything that you were doing you just felt like you were in a different element and i started seeing things and hearing things and stretching more and using it for like i said a tool i've never used anything to like well i did in college i used stuff to abuse it and like really get something off of it but i never but this stuff, I was using it for a spirit experiment. And it opened up my eyes to everything that I was missing in life. It started telling me why I was doing things, why, you know, why I was running from things, why I didn't like the in certain energies in certain places. And it started to really make me understand that I wasn't living a righteous life the way that I, for myself. Like, not saying to whoever's up there, but it was kind of, that I was living for somebody else. I was living for my parents. I was living for my mom, you know? I, everything that I ever done, I was doing for her, to make her happy, accepted. And, and then I was also trying to make my father happy. And I kind of realized, these people will never be happy with anything that I do. Unless I do nothing, and I put my money in the, under the mattress, they'll never be satisfied. And I realized that the Navy just was better understanding of that. It was a journey that I had to take to get to this level understanding. But it made me depressed because I started seeing things that I saw that I missed out on, like basketball. I started seeing like the reason why this person was in my life. I started seeing why these people were coming around. I started seeing why people saw 
what they saw. When I saw, I started seeing why people accepted the bullshit that I was doing. I was seeing it. Now the hard part is accepting. I started working on myself. I'm listening to X, you know, Tentacion, my boy, rest in peace, young man. And started seeing his change. So we, we went through depression together. And then I started, got home and I started, well, I got ready to see his change. And he passed. So I said, I need to start changing myself. I started working on myself and then I got home. And I totally did the opposite. I mean, I was doing it, but I totally did the opposite. And then I started, then, you know, I got my job. And I started noticing that I was working. So the pain that I was feeling, the anger that I was feeling, the, the depression, everything I was feeling, I had to just go to work anyway. But I was doing it late. I wasn't going till nine, ten, whatever. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Just, to, just enough to make sure that I was working. Then once COVID happened, I started sitting back and popped the things. Lost what a ton of weight because I started just working out all day. And I started noticing that I'm an athlete. This whole time I was manipulated by my mother and my father and my brother. This whole time. Then, had I just done the work after breaking my foot, my town was just telling me that I was a beast. If I break, if I never broke my foot, I would have never had to. I would never put in work. I'm starting to notice with this. Now, I just need to put in the work. You know what I mean? And of course, there are fucked up people in the world because they listen to this crazy music. But. It was better for me to start seeing things the opposite way than I was seeing them um, as a young man. So I started noticing that those drugs, the cold medicine, started making me be more aware. And I started doing research when I got here in California. So I started, well, during COVID, I started doing research. And I started noticing that shrooms and things like that were told that they would start making you see different start seeing the parallel universe or things like would you know what I mean you'll start being more aware because you'll start seeing past tense and your future and you start you know and that's what I did when I did these med this cold medicine but I allow myself to be depressed instead of like working towards it because that was an offset of the the, the pill or the medicine you take too much it'll cause you to be you know depressed and anyway i haven't done that in years but now that i'm getting my body back it feels like and i'm doing you know i'm happy and i don't have the things all the energies around me as i had before and i'm pretty cool with myself i'm really cool with myself i love being with myself um i started noticing that it was um it was, it was, it was the music, bro. And the environment that I was in. And then had I just taken a step back and tried another like genre for a little while, or like, you know, just put in my playlist. But you didn't have that back then. You, back then you had to buy CDs and then you, you were saving your lunch money for that. You were saving your lunch money. When you save your lunch money, you can go buy the album that, or from the person that you love the most. So I'm not gonna go buy the Blink-182 album. Now you can just go stream the music and fall in love with these people on streaming. I've always been a Blink-182 fan because of camp. So I was always living a double life. I was always that white black kid, that black white kid, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I was that kid and I was fighting my own battles in my own mind, in my own world. And then I was also trying to keep these people happy. And then I was, then I ran off to the military after meeting somebody who was trying to get me back into sports and into a life. I didn't know how to love. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know, I never, I was just sheltered to and, and forced to live the way that these people wanted me to. But I was so good at a sport that they had to keep me um, out in, the, in public, but abuse me at home so that I didn't become more than them. 
but it's evident that I had to become more than them. And the music was causing me to be strong, yes, but it also caused me to react when I couldn't, you know, longer defend myself with basketball. I started being more, you know, aggressive and pissed off and depressed and I started just seeing all the things that were my flaws and I was fighting against them. And I noticed that it was caused by the pain as well. Some over here lifting heavy weights, I'm getting big, I'm, I'm getting huge. And I'm just really screwing myself. I was doing the wrong type of training, ego lifting. You know, all, all the whole time, all I had to do was change my music to change my environment. So I was listening to his music and living in the atmosphere that the music was talking about. So I'm always in defense. It wasn't fair to anybody or myself. But um, that's things that I learned being out here you know, and being able to activate the things that I was feeling, the things that I was coming up with and formulating in my mind. And it's all because I sat down and I started meditating. I started stretching and listening to YouTubes. And then, like, those YouTubes turned into, you know, the history of rap and the history of R&B and the history of just music in general. And they started telling me the brain waves and how people manipulate people through music as well as just dialogue. The art of dialogue. It's all art. It all comes back full circle. That is why they're trying to do like the neural link and stuff like that. They're talking about the neural link because then, like, I was just talking to Pop Pop, and he's, you know, we, we're we communicating. He's speaking his language, and I, I'm starting to understand what he's saying. And he said, "If you just, if we just had the neural link, we could not have to say anything." And I was like, "Wow, he knows about the neural link. That's so crazy," which is true. I did some research and they said that everything, especially with the English language, there's a lot of cursing swears in the English language that we don't even aren't even aware about. Because if you do if you do a deep dive on the definition of the way that we say things and the fact that we don't use our tongue and we don't use the eh, the uh, the ooh, like from pop pop's language or any other language. Any other language has you know, they have passion, love, um you know, the, behind everything that they're saying. They're, they're kind of acting out what they're saying. In America, we just, and there's a reason why they can't stand us and don't speak English anywhere else, really. And if they do, they have an accent. We speak kind of clear, right? So it's like, I feel like we're saying, we're this language is it. It's not ours. It, it, it's a curse. It's a curse, I'm telling you. We don't have passion to our, our, our language. And then things are spelled clear. You know, sometimes you get a little, a silent word letter, but they have a lot of, ooh, ooh, ah. Uh, like, ugh, ooh, like you, like you, like to their language. There's a lot of feeling when they, they speak. I wonder what that is. I wonder why that is. But I've just been saying that it's really demonic what they're doing to us, and we don't even notice that they're doing it. I mean, I know it's, but. They tell you to go to work. You don't have health care. Like, there's reasons for everything, bro. And I'm starting to see it, and I noticed that from taking those cold medicines, changing up my music, and changing my environment, I started seeing why people are so happy in California. I started seeing that people live on top of each other in New England, and it's just go, 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 move, move, move. East Coast is just moving. 
years is kind of lead back to people say weave. You know what I mean? So I started just changing up my whole my, like my music. I, like I said, I started changing my music and I started seeing these things and I started tasting them and fart, feeling them. And I haven't been far at all because I just been working on my body. But the looser I got was a lot of it because of my energy and the music that I was listening to. Everything is a tool. Learn how to use the tool, but also learn how they're using that tool against you. So, the art of dialogue. Be aware of the offense that they're playing and the defense that you need to be playing. I'm not saying, you know, go drive yourself crazy and learn what I'm saying, but like, just be, just meditate, sit on the floor. Sit on the floor and just listen to the sounds. And I'm telling you, you'll see, you'll hear the singing of birds and the energies that are just, it's just beautiful, man. I'm not the type to go burn incense and stuff like that. I'm just chill. And you'll start noticing that a lot of the things that you were thinking and feel like you need to say, you don't need to say it. You don't need to say anything. I love silence. I sometimes go on my YouTube, not my YouTube, but my, my Instagram, and I'll say something in my story. And I start realizing a fool tells his future, tells his plans. But it was just me challenging myself, you know, talking shit to myself. And people probably see it as me being arrogant or asshole or whatever have you, but it's just really tools for me. It's always been that way. I'm challenging myself. I'm not, I've never, you know, was envy of another man. And if I was, I quickly noticed and I snapped out. I was like, yo, get yourself together. So I'm on my own journey. My own, the sun is coming out. It's beautiful. I'm on my own journey. And I'm getting to a point where I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm still a child. But I feel like I'm a man. I know I'm a man. But I'm excited to like see we're just trying new things to get me. I see people doing wonderful things, having kids, kids grown, going to high school, graduating high school. It's all beautiful. And I don't even have kids and I'm damn well probably doing a lot less than their kid is. But that's what pain does. It makes you forget, but also makes you all appreciate the little things in life. I have to rebuild my whole world. And I've done it by just meditating and stretching and listening to different music and thinking different, changing the way I thought, rebuilding, relearning. This is a journey, bro. I don't know one day it's gonna be a movie, a sitcom, a, you know, you know, it's gonna be something crazy. But I just gotta get there, and I'm doing it with love. But I'm learning how to also do that. I've never had that, you know, in the way that I really wanted to put it out there, and I was afraid of it for so long, afraid to show people that, afraid to hold hands with a woman or show, you know, uh, kiss her kiss my girl in public or in front of my parents or in front of her parents. I was always that way. You know, because my mother was always like coming out the garage, to, you know, when I'm in the basement with my girl coming out the garage, coming up the side door, you know, popping the lights on, you know what I mean? Like manipulative stuff. You know what I mean? They cut, you know, come calling you upstairs, don't be having no sex in my house. I'm 19. Like, what, I'm, in, I'm 21. You know what I mean? I'm 23. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the things that I see and the things that I now see because of this, the time in the Navy. All that experience and then taking this medicine, this cold medicine and making me more aware and then moving here and stretching and changing my music and changing the people I'm around, getting rid of the anger and feelings that I was feeling for other people, you know, the hatred I had. 
for the people that I felt like could cause my downfall or contributed to my downfall. The music was keeping me in that, like, that position. It was keeping me angered. The death, the negativity, the, the murder, murder, kill, kill all the time. It was just like, oh, just let me take the skin off and throw it away. So then when I come back, I can understand that it doesn't rule me. I'm reshaping myself, I'm rebuilding myself, I'm, I'm turning into a man. I could be a father right now to some grown ass man or woman right now. And yes, I could have done it, but right now where I'm at, it may seem like I'm fairly immature, which is not true at all. I'm very mature, but I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. I have to relearn. And like when I came over the Navy, a lot of things that weren't are or were. So I had to adapt to that as well. And I started realizing that I was thrown in those positions and I had to react. I had to learn how to react off of it. And I learned, I had to learn it. You know, and learn not to be disrespectful or uh, or ignorant to the situation at hand. And a lot of times I failed. <laughs> and it's because of the music was telling me, like, and then come to find out a lot of them was the way I was trying to stay away from. Whether that's for your friends or the music that musicians you were listening to, they were all lying to us the whole time anyway. So what makes you think that they won't lie on the, the, the radio frequencies? I started noticing that, that they changed the frequencies of the music and I started also playing with our minds as well. It, like I said, that sand can change. It moves all over the place. There's a reason why hippies are nice or happy. They just pop them little shrooms or whatever have you and they smiling and happy, and kissing and hugging trees. Hmm. Maybe I should try that and see if it's, you know, and, and, and wing my way off of the music and the way of thinking that I was so stuck in. And my body started relaxing. And you can't tell me nothing now. You can't tell me it's not the tunes, the music, the, the energy, the beat, the, the rep per percussions. They all change the alignment of your mind in your body so I don't want to preach any longer but I just wanted to put that out there that a lot of the times it's the manipulation from every corner of the world and everything that you listen to everything you do that's why you get a pet and you massage them and you, you hug out hug them they'll let you know when things are fucked up take care of yourself stay active if you aren't into fitness or and you don't know where to go just look up what you're trying to look up. Like if you want to start running or walking more, look up places and go, just go for it. Try new things. Don't be afraid to try new things. You don't have to be stuck in one place for all your life. I'm telling you, it's best to try something and then go back maybe later on with a whole different mindset, perspective of life. And you may find that it was the people in the environment. <laughs> But hopefully when I get back, there'll be a different mindset. So, stay positive. Stay focused. Stay dedicated. Stay dedicated on the focus. I'm focused on the dedication. I love you. Be great. And stretch. Meditate. Sit on the floor. Five minutes. Let's sit on the floor. Watch a commercial on the floor. And then touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, you are failing yourself. Trust me, I know.